Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Matthew the <laughs> chapter 6, verse 31. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? Don't be anxious. Don't worry. <laughs> be happy. <laughs> do you want to pray, honey? Lord, we really need your help with this one. So we ask you to speak to us today yes. through your word and speak to our hearts and minds that we can receive what you're saying. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Worry is something that everybody has to consider. In fact, you need to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, according to online statistics, which obviously never lie, 92% of the things that you worry about never come to pass. And the 8%, well, <laughs> we worry we worry about, according to this verse, food and drink and fashion. It sounds like the table of contents of a popular magazine. There's always something or someone to worry about. It's like we try to carry too much, too much freight. And I have this story in my mind. Shall I tell that? that we used to have this one ton pickup truck and I used to do landscape gardening. And one time I went up this very narrow hill up to a quarry and I was it was a very steep little little road up. And I said, I just need a ton of topsoil, please. And they pointed me to the right heap and they said, help yourself. But no one monitored it or weighed me in. And because I'm naturally greedy, you see, you know, I thought, well, I can get loads out of it. So I just filled it up. So I filled my one ton truck up with about two and a half tons of topsoil because they said, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Just take what you want. And so I started off, paid for it, paid for my ton and started off down the hill. And as soon as I set off down that incline, I suddenly realized that I was in trouble because the car wasn't responding to the steering wheel in fact it was all weighted at the back and then I thought oh well I'm, so long as I don't pass another vehicle I'll be okay until when I get down on the flat and then this truck lumbered into view at the bottom of the hill and we just came down closer and closer and I just don't know how I got past it in fact I literally don't know because I just shut my eyes at the point of impact and somehow he with a blare of his horn he just squeezed past I was trying to carry, don't tell Val about this, by the way. I was trying to <laughs> carry more than I was able to. And you know, who gave the, the, the name of that truck, the, the, the title One Ton Pickup Truck? It, it wasn't the designer. It wasn't the salesman. It was the manufacturer, the designer. It was designed to carry a ton. And I was trying to take too much. And if you try to take too much, this is what worry is. It's a load. You know that bit in, I think it's Psalm 103, it says, he knows our frame. He knows our frame. And God does not design us for worry. He designs us for, mm. for peace, for peace. Yes, he says, doesn't he, my peace I leave with you. Yes. In John 14, John 14, 27, yeah, not as the world gives, give I to you, my mm. peace, yes. A different kind of order, a different, yes, that's good. But my favourite scripture, <coughs> excuse me, this brings to mind, is uh, John sixteen thirty three. Hmm. I have told you all this, so that you may have peace in me, Jesus says. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart. Take heart. Because I have overcome the world. Amen. Amen. Isn't that great? Yes. Yes. So what do you worry about? Do you remember the old cliche? Today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. <laughs> what do you worry about? What do you worry about? We, we might worry because we look, watch the news too much. Or worry because we don't know. You could worry about rent arrears or nuclear disarmament or the situation in China. There's always something to worry about. And worry is not a weakness. It's a wrong direction. It's a wrong direction of my thinking processes. And I, Jesus is saying, stop. 
And his point of saying stop is, don't you know your heavenly father has got your back, that he's with you? It's that same word, isn't it? He's in the boat. Peace, be still. And God redirects us to channel our thoughts in another direction, to replace toxic thinking with good thinking. And three comebacks. Think yourself happy. Are you not more valuable? You know, are, are you not are you not loved? Are you not cared for? Does, does your heavenly father not know what you need? And so this is how God calls us. This is how God calls us now. This is what God's actually saying to me. <laughs> Let's pray together. Yes. Um, I was just looking Please, yeah. at the next few verses of this in Matthew 6, mm. 31. And yes, yes. As you read on, your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Yes. Verse 33, seek the kingdom of God above all else and yes. live righteously and he will give you everything you need. Amen. And Amen. then it reaffirms, so don't worry about tomorrow. Yes. But tomorrow will bring his own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Yes, it says it three times. Take no thought. Take no thought. That's it. And rechannel your thinking into God's perspective. You are fathered. By a gracious God, stand upon that goodness. It's like a warranty that whatever happens, you'll be covered. Mm. Yes. Lord, I pray that we may together understand and reach for that wonderful concept of a loving father who has got our backs. That everything that we do, everything that we fear in our future is known and held that we have the safety net of your loving protection. Yes. In Jesus' name, mm -hmm. we pray together. Amen. Amen.